Hey guys, what's up? Once again welcome to Movie Buzz Limited. As the movie story opens, a man bud is presented. After changing his outfit and grabbing his shotgun, he has worn his mask, actually, he was a vampire hunter. After killing the vampires, he pulls their teeth out. At that time, the teeth of vampires were highly expensive. Upon arriving at his house, he plugs a silver cable. He enters the inside after getting his rifle and spots an elderly woman. The elderly woman asks, what are you doing in my house? Meanwhile, Bud shoots the old woman with the gun, she was no ordinary woman. She was a vampire as well, and when she gets up, she attacks Bud. She tried to kill Bud, but after much difficulty, he removes her head. As a result, she dies, and it was required to remove their necks to kill them. Later, another vampire begins to approach Bud while running and his neck removes with the wire, the silver wire that Bud had previously plugged on the door. The scene shifts and we see a lady who is a vampire. With her project, she aims to build her colony. After arriving, all vampires may live there. She killed her vampire friend with whom she had her partnership. Bud returns home where he lives on rent. He covers his body in yellow paint so no vampire can smell him. Bud was doing this to avoid being smelled by their fellows of the vampires that he murdered recently. They couldn't sense that he'd killed their companions. Later, Bud goes to her daughter's school to pick up his daughter. Watching Bud, his daughter becomes very happy. Bud hasn't told his family that he is a vampire hunter. His wife asks why do you come late? He claims that I went to a house to clean the pool. His wife says, come on don't lie. These lies are the reason why I left you. She discusses selling her home afterward. Because they don't have enough money to pay their daughter's fee. He promises his wife, I'll arrange money within 7 days, so she should not worry. Later, Bud visits a store where he has come to sell vampire's teeth. Bud offers him $800 for these teeth. Bud needs money, that's why he sells the vampire's teeth, so he could have some money. Later, the vampire woman who was working on the project, she arrives at the elderly woman's home, the old lad Bud has killed. That old woman was her daughter and this vampire was also a 500 year old vampire. While sobbing, blood started coming from her eyes. She commands her fellows to bring that person, the killer of my daughter. The next day, Bud meets his friend and tells him that he wants to work at Union. So, help me to rejoin Union, this Union was a secret society. They dispatch their employees to kill the vampires. Bud's friend takes him inside the Union. Bud's friend's name is John, and he requests his owner to give Bud another chance. John has a solid reputation because he was an old Union hunter. The owner begins to recall Bud's mistakes. He tells, do you realize how many rules you violated to kill the vampires first, you lost your job at this union because of that. Because of John, he was reappointed for this job. If you ever commit the same error again, you will be fired immediately. His owner appoints him for day night that he has to kill vampires during the day. Bud goes to the counter, he sells vampire teeth there. The man at the counter first gives cash to Bud. Later, he keeps the money because Bud was also required to pay union debt. He is informed by the owner that he is your partner with whom you have to work with. Later, they both follow a baby vampire. Bud informs him that this is a baby vampire, they cannot digest human blood, they use the blood of cats and rats as a result. Bud enters inside and warns his companion to stay in the car till I kill the vampire. On the other side, Bud has murdered the vampire. The vampires appear on Bud all of a sudden. In the meantime, Bud's partner arrives and is asked for the gun. After receiving the gun from his partner, Bud kills the vampire Bud has killed every vampire in the area and has collected their teeth. Bud's partner, though, was rather frightened. Bud informs him that everyone experiences it initially, don't worry. On the other side, the lady vampire also arrives at the store, where Bud sold the teeth of her daughter. She inquires of the store owner who sold these teeth. He tells the name of Bud and the lady vampire kills him, later. Bud visits his house on the opposite side, where he meets a girl. She introduces herself as Bud's new neighbor. She used to be a nurse, and Bud assists her with packing her bags. Bud has developed a friendship with her. Bud brings his partner to the same store the next day. He has come to sell the first set of the teeth of the vampires. 
He finds out that her friend was killed by vampires after going there. He also learns that vampires have come to know his name as well. Bud's partner asks him that we should notify about this to the union. Bud warns him not to do this because if he does, he can't ever earn money. They'll fire me from the job and how will I pay my daughter's fee? I'm doing this all to pay my daughter's fee. When I pay my daughter's fee, you can complain to the union about me. His partner's heart melts upon hearing this. He promises that I won't notify the owner or the union about this. The next day, Bud comes to know that there are many vampires in the valley. The next day, after taking his partner, Bud leaves for that valley. Bud finds a large number of other hunters there when he arrives. They'd come there to kill the vampires. Bud informs them that these vampires are their target and asks them to go. They offer Bud that we'll kill the vampires together. After selling their teeth, we'll divide the money that we'll receive. Bud agrees, and they all enter inside to fight the vampires. They kill more than a hundred vampires there. They have collected the vampire teeth for selling. In the meantime, Bud's partner is captured by a vampire, which makes him quite anxious. Bud claims that because he is so strong, that's why he fought vampires. When he learns this, he gets delighted and tells Bud, I aspire to be a vampire hunter, like you Bud later takes his daughter to a friend's birthday celebration. Later, he gets that vampire lady's call. She informs him that you have taken and killed my daughter. I'll soon kidnap your wife and daughter as well. Bud gets concerned and takes his daughter from the party. He puts her in the car and asks her to play the game quietly by sitting here. Bud begins to flee from there because the people of that vampire lady were chasing him, in order to kill him. Bud after deceiving each of them, kills the all. Bud goes inside a tunnel there was a narrow path. Bud is able to escape from that tunnel, and as a result, both his and his daughter's lives are kept safe. At his wife's home, he takes his daughter. He observes that the vampire lady had already arrived. She'd gripped Bud's wife and she asks what is this going on? Later, Bud admits to his wife that he is a vampire hunter in actuality. After killing them, he used to remove their teeth. Everyone in this area is a vampire, they've come here to take revenge on me. Bud is informed by the vampire lady that you killed my daughter. I'm going to turn your daughter into a vampire right now. As a result, your daughter will suck the blood of your daughter. Later on, you'll realize just how painful losing loved ones is. Bud finds his partner who was bitten by them, they attack Bud and he has passed out. The lady vampire and her partners have taken his wife and daughter from there. Bud notices his companion in front of him, he claims that since I turned into a vampire, I now require blood. Bud informs us that we must leave the area quickly. Bud approaches the woman who used to be his neighbor. Bud asks why you've deceived me and the lady tells Bud about that vampire lady. I was turned into a vampire and kept as a slave by the lady vampire. But, now I'm with you, and I want to take revenge on her. She offers Bud's partner blood for him to take. Three of them later go where the vampire lady and her partners were. Three of them killed many vampires one by one. There were numerous vampires there that they were unable to encounter. John, Bud's friend, arrives there in the interim. He killed all the vampires with a gun machine he had brought along. Bud learns from the girl about the tunnel where all of the vampires lived covertly. She tells Bud that your partner will go with me at a different place. You'll go in the tunnel to save your wife and daughter. Bud goes with his friend downside, they kill numerous vampires there. The vampire lady's fellow informs her that Bud has arrived here with his team she asks him to go and bring Bud to me. On the other side, Bud and John were fighting vampires there. Suddenly, a vampire bites John in the meantime. For this reason, he sends Bud ahead and placed a gate there. Bud is told not to worry about me and to go protect his wife and daughter instead. After killing all the vampires, I'll meet with you. Bud listens to his friend and goes from there. His friend's rifle runs out of ammunition as Bud was going from there. He pulls the bomb that was tied to his dress there. He blasts the bomb and meanwhile, the companion of the vampire lady comes to capture Bud. Meanwhile, the neighbor girl and Bud's partner kill him. Bud comes to the vampire lady and shoots her. But she was moving so quickly that she dropped it. When the vampire lady was going to kill Bud, Bud's wife used wood to attack her from behind. 
she suffers a little injury as a result, but otherwise, she was unhurt. She is shot by Bud as he stands up, but she catches the bullet in her teeth. Bud becomes shocked to see the vampire lady. The vampire lady is now moving in to kill Bud. Meanwhile, her neck removes and she dies because Bud has placed a silver wire before shooting. The vampire lady has died and later Bud after taking his wife and daughter comes out. The neighbor girl tells them that we've won this war. Meanwhile, Bud takes the hat of his friend, John. He gives it to his partner and asks him to be strong like him. The owner of the union was present when they all went outdoors. He informs Bud that you have violated the rules. Bud's partner, appointed by the owner, tells him that we haven't violated any rule. Instead, we've done all of this to save Bud's daughter and wife. The owner didn't respond after hearing this and left. Bud's wife informs him that this was the truth he concealed, and I've forgiven you for all of your lies. She wants to live with Bud once more. When Bud hears this, he is relieved to have his family back. The film ends here with happy ending. Enjoy.